All right, so how's it going, everybody? I figured it's Pokemon time. Still can't find any baseball cards or anything like that. And found some Pokemon. It's not the insane Champion's Path, I believe, is the thing that everyone's chasing after right now. There's like a Charizard card in there. In the previous card opening video where I tried to give the Marlins good luck in the playoffs, that did not work out at all. I had bad luck. The Marlins had bad luck. So maybe we'll have some good luck with some... Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Boxes. Hopefully this isn't with the camera. Uh, we got three of these. I'm going to open all three of them in this video, though I'm going to open them up on like different days. As much fun as it would be to do three of these in a row right now, I kind of want to save them. Kind of like just so this video will take over like a couple of days because you know it's kind of fun when you're just like bored doing nothing to do, you know, just open up some cards. That's what we're gonna do over several days. So I'm not gonna open all these up at one time, but we'll do maybe one box a day or something like that, or every other day, something like that, however I see fit. And this will all be in one video. So from the cards we did open up of Sword and Shield in that Marlon's Good Luck video, uh, I really like the artwork. I, I thought the artwork on a lot of the cards looked awesome. So I'm kind of happy, I'm kind of excited to open up this. See what we can get. I have no idea on like the chase cards, the cool stuff to get. Obviously, like the rainbow rare full arts and cards like that, you always want. But uh, I'm not too familiar with this set. Uh, Sword and Shield is new. Yeah, let's see what we can get. Kind of haven't completed uh, the Crown Tundra DLC for Sword and Shield on Switch. That uh, I think I just need to catch the Reggies and the Galarian Birds, and I'm pretty sure that's like it for the story wise. And then it's basically just like shiny hunting kind of thing, but. Yeah, playing that, it was kind of fun, you know, it's like, I don't even think the story was an hour or two, maybe? <laughs> it's like, it's kind of, it's, I don't even know what the story really was, it was just basically you're finding all this thing kind of thing. I don't know, it was fun, a, a couple hour messing around that, I still want to finish that. Yeah, let's uh, show the cards already. So that's it, we got three of them, three of the Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Boxes. These will be cool, hopefully, some good stuff, and the cool thing about them, well, when you see when we open them, they have like... Pretty good storage boxes for cards, so that's pretty cool. And I figured, why not be an idiot? We got one of these. These repacked, includes 20 cards and one foil card, so... Yeah. This, uh... <laughs> I don't think I've seen anyone ever get anything good out of these. Has anyone else seen it? Like, they're just, like, they're repacked. Yeah, I, we'll see how this goes. This, I think they do, like, is it the MJ Holding Company, I think? Is who does these? At like Walmart or whatever. Yeah, I think they do this for baseball and football and maybe basketball. I don't know. I think I definitely pretty sure they do it for football and baseball. Because at least with like, I know baseball because I have bought them before. It's like packs. So it's like when I see like Bowman or something like there, something like that, I try to grab, I see Bowman packs in it. Uh, give me the Bowman, you know? But with Pokemon, this is it's probably going to be like all energy cards. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. But we'll see. We will see. All right, so we got our more than likely worst pack thing ever. And then we got ourselves the Elite Trainer Box. So I have never opened one of these before. Oh, I see the one thing there. But I guess I need to sharpen my knife. <laughs> that didn't really open that well. I've never opened, open, bleh, I've never opened one of these before. You know, I've always seen people open them. And they're pretty cool. How many packs is it I'm supposed to have? Eight packs. So this is basically, I think, what you want if you're starting to play, like, the game kind of thing. Because Pokemon is a game, which, I, I mean, I've played some of it on, like, the online, which is cool. Which, oh, yeah, I've seen this before. It basically shows you all the cards uh, in the set, which is actually really cool. And a bunch of, I'm going to have to look into that afterwards cool idea and then it comes with the this is the box kind of thing it's kind of nice nothing in there so what are we at? this is a separation thing i don't think we'll need that for anything but we got the packs it's per sweet we got one two three four five six seven eight that's cool so we will need and then like i said for like the game stuff you use like uh i forget what these are like the damage counters or something and the dice, you use those for your card breaks, not, and these are like dividers, which are pretty cool, and a whole bunch of energy, 
and that's a code card. And also sleeves, which is kind of cool. These are for sweet. I don't know if, I don't, does it say how many? 65 sleeves. Is that how much you're allowed for like a set or whatever for playing? That's pretty cool. All right, yeah, if you ever want to like get into the game, basically, you just pretty much get that. Get a Elite Trainer Box thing. We have a ton of energies now. We're going to have a lot of energy cards because if we're going to open up three of these, like, I mean, is this legal to do? Yes. Okay, so we keep the code card to the side. And then we can put our sweet cards in there. I got some sleeves, so yes, let's do four and then we'll open up that crappy pack thing, pre pack thing, and then open up four again. So let's see. I, I did see there's a new set coming out, I think next month. I feel like it was the 12th or 13th or something. I think we kind of might have got something cool in this pack. Uh, which way is it? Could? Okay, just remember it's the last card. But I see something in the middle. I know I'm, I'm not doing the cool pack trick thing that everyone does. Blip bug, but our goal is always to at least recognize one of the Pokemon. Rhyhorn, okay, there we go. <laughs> Saved. Rhyhorn, Clobopus? But that's what I was saying. I really like the artworks of these cards. And these are just, like, common, uncommon cards. I, I really like the artwork. Like, that Goldeen looks awesome. Am I the only person that, like, pays attention to this kind of stuff? But Goldeen, Roselia, that's... I, I really like the artworks. Rookie D... The reverse hollow, so if there's going to be a cool card, it's going to be here. Snorlax VMAX. That's pretty sick. That's like, is it one of the, ooh, yeah, the textured. Those are cool. And then Energy, Sea King, Ordinary Rod, Beta. Is it Bed? Bed? How do you say? I hated that guy in Sword and Shield. But, yo, remembering, I'm going to set the Ordinary Rod to the side. I'm going to show you something. A, a, a little Pokemon collection thing I kind of started. But Snorlax VMAX at the first pack. I'm pretty sure that's what you want. Other than that, like, I guess you could get, like, the rainbow or whatever. But that's pretty sweet. Nice. Then Rookie D, Reverse. Let's we'll put those over there. We'll put these guys here for now. It's not a good spot. Okay, we'll just put them like this. That's sweet. Uh, yeah, that ordinary rod thing. I'm gonna show you. I gotta remember it though. That's why I gotta set it to the side. I was trying to get. I kind of gave up on it because I think one of the cards got really expensive, and I was kind of like, "It's a cool idea. I like it, but I don't like how expensive it got. Especially probably now because it's some of the stuff I was doing is older. Did we get another cool card? Or is that the reverse all? Slizzlepeed, Snom, Mala. See, like, look at that artwork. That is awesome. All of these artworks are really cool. Goldine, that's a different reverse hollow pokey gear and mudsdale rare energy citrus berry quillfish i need you shiny in pokemon go okay that pack not one of the best packs maybe i don't know so i have no no idea on anything value wise of this new pokemon's and Tino, I feel like that one's off center. Vulpix, we got you shiny in Pokemon Go lately. I'm not, I'm not too big. I know it's like something different, but the like yarn kinds. I don't really like that or like the clay ones, the artworks. Another trainer reverse hollow, a rare Snorlax. Potion, hit much. Like, look at him on Chan. That's awesome art. Hopefully, this, this has been in focus so you can see the cool artworks I'm talking about. One more pack, and then we're on to the. Walmart whatever ones. Repack things. Joltik. Cool. Slandit. Cool. Clawless. Ghastly, my dude. Do I still have that? I'll show you. Ghastly, rickety. Why? Not a fan of Wooloo. <laughs> Reverse hollow. Cloister rare. Haunter. Cool. Blacky, we didn't go, we went with the water dude. I'm completely, I blanked out on his name before. I know he turns into, is it Inteleon or whatever he evolves into? Completely forgot it. Ghastly, I just saw a cool card that I got, uh, I think several months ago, but. Okay, to the Walmart thing. I've never opened one of these before, but 
every time I see someone on YouTube open one of these, they tell people not to buy them. <laughs> and you know what? We're gonna find out why. Cause like, I'm not sure how this is pet. Oh God, I don't want our Snorlax card. Guess that wasn't the safest spot, but I'm pretty sure it's okay. I'll put you there for now. All right. Uh, I don't know if, okay, we'll take this card and the first card on the back, like that. So maybe that'll be whatever's rare. Super Potion, Hard Charm, Nerino. <laughs> Is that Evolution? Yeah, of course that's, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, we got base set cards, Glaring Ponyta, Krogonk. I don't know what sets these are. We got doubles of that, Charmander. Inkay, Meryl, Paris, Clefairy. That's a really cool Magmar art. And Cedra. Okay. Keep these separate. So, one of these has to be the foil. I think this is the back one. And it's a reverse hollow. See, that's why you don't do those. <laughs> I forget how much that was, but it's definitely not worth the price of a reverse hollow Mankey card. So. Or I had an extra sleeve. Cool. All right. Sleeve up for VMAX. That's baseball sleeves do not fit very well on the. I did. I did, I did buy some of the. What they call it, like the perfect fit sleeves or whatever, which look really nice on the cards. But I heard a lot of the Pokemon, like the old school Pokemon collectors, I guess would be say they are they do not use them because a lot of times you can chip them putting them into the perfect fit sleeves and i was like you know that's a pretty good point because they do fit pretty tight on the card so it's, look at this shelter that's awesome that's such a cool artwork so i haven't used them but i've just been using my regular baseball sleeves grookey reverse hollow he's a starter guy and marnie i think she was kind of cool and uh Sword and Shield, Sigil so Wudo, like, oh, well, there's another one in the background. See, that's what I mean. I'm, I don't want to see the hop. I might throw that hop card out. I did not like hop either <laughs> in the game. He was kind of, he's kind of whack, in my opinion. I did, I did like Sword and Shield, which I'm hoping whatever they make for the next Pokemon game, they can do a lot more with it. Slammed it. Larry Ponyta. Wait, we just got that from... Was that in that Walmart pack thing? Sob Sobble's the one. He's the one I picked. I liked him. Blipbug. Scropey. Is that the reverse? Well, that's like... Usually the reverse hollows are... Hollow. That, that just looks weird on that one. It's like not all that shiny as the others. Maybe it's an error card. Okay, let's see. Goldeen, Zelia, Ghastly, I like the Ponner, what, Ponner? How do you say that? Slizzlepeed, Galarian Rapidash, Reverse Hollow, and yo! That's good, right? The Golden? I forget what it's called. It's like the full art. Yo, that's good. Do not drop that one. Energy, Quillfish, Pokey Kid, and Energy Strip Search. Yo! I think we might have just won cards, I think. We'll sleeve that up. Uh, come on, try not to grab the edges. There we go. Cool. Quick ball. What did I, I can't remember what these are called. Will the book tell me? No, you can get the, I wanna get, I gotta look up the ordinary rod. Maybe we can get it. Let's see, yeah, it's right here, the quick ball. I like that ordinary rod one. Yo, that would go, okay. Cause you know, I'm Jupiter Sailfish, so I like fishing. I think it's just, is it just a secret rare? Yeah, it's just a secret rare. Okay, that's cool. So like, I didn't, I didn't really know that before, but yo, that's awesome. I'm Jupiter Sailfish, I like fishing. I started trying to get, well, there's like fisherman trainer cards. And I was trying to get like all of them, but there were some, I don't know, was there, was it in Sky Ridge? I think was the name. Okay, one more back. And I think that was the one that was like, I can't remember. It might not have been. I don't know. There, I think there's like a couple fisherman cards that were from like the older sets. Then there were a couple that I did get that were 
like a couple, only a couple dollars from the older sets. <laughs> Here, we used them a bunch. Crab, yo, I love that crabby artwork. That card's awesome. But I was trying to get like all the fisherman cards from like all the sets. I thought that would be fun to kind of do a Santa kind of reverse and we get a cool card. It's here, Dramp or no, Drampa. Or Candy, Lucky Egg, and Mantine. I was trying to get all the uh, fisherman trainer cards. So I thought that would be kind of funny set to put together. And then it got really expensive and I haven't looked lately because Pokemon cards, if you don't know, kind of gone absolutely insane. But yeah, this one I bought like probably like a year or so ago. This because I'm all about lower grade PSA cards. I know everyone always wants the ten and everything. And like, look, like this is a seven, and like literally all that's wrong with it. On the back, there's some like whitening stuff, and I think there's like a couple black. You probably can't even see it. Maybe you can. Like some like looks like it has freckles on the card. Maybe it has some scratches to make it a seven. I don't know. But other than that, like. I don't care if I have a freckled Scyther card, but it's that no rarity from jungle, which I always thought was cool. And this, this is like one of the cheaper ones. I forget what the, the other ones are like really expensive. But yeah, I don't I don't know what that's now, but we did not pay for much for it before because I'm all about the lower grades. Let me go see if I can find those fisherman cards real quick. But we did get the quick ball and why is that, that much? Okay, this is like a weird sleeve for this Snorlax because it's clearly bigger than my regular. I don't know what that came. From. That's for like a relic card or something. Yeah, you see that sleeve's not. Okay, it's clear, so it's hard to see. See that one like fits it much better. That's what I was. I was wondering about that. I was like, that feels odd. But yo, I think that's a pretty solid box. I have no idea idea of the value. It's probably like five dollars or something. But these are cool. That's what Pokemon. I wish they would start doing like baseball cards and stuff like that. All right, so how's it going, everyone? We're on the second box. I don't know which one. Let's go this one. Why not? Say that one for the last day we're going to open up. Yeah, it seems we did pretty well on the last box. I looked up. I'll show it after. Uh, the two cards we got basically paid for a box, so we essentially got free cards. Yeah, let's open up second box. It's past midnight, so it's Halloween now. Let's uh, see if we can also win on this box, because the last box we won. As far as I'm concerned. All right, before we open, which one's your favorite, everyone? The Twix, the Snickers, Milky Way, Three Musketeers, any other candy? Everyone always hates the Almond Joy, too, but I, li I like that. Almond Joy is pretty good. But honestly, my favorite candy out of all the candy, I'm kind of actually sad we, didn't have, we don't have any. Oh, i got to turn my microphone around. Reese Cups. Reese's? Reese? I always, I always said Reese, but Reese Cups, my all-time Favorite candy. Pretty sure there's no better candy. Quick ball. This is a pretty cool looking card. And on the old, wow, they can't actually see it. It's on 20 bucks, one bid. 22, 44 for some reason. 18, 24. So, pretty solid card right there. And then when I looked up the Snorlax, these are basically the two. I didn't look up any of the reverse hollows. But these are basically our winners, and this was like around eight to ten dollars. We about broke even on the first box, and you know, uh, I'll take that all day because almost always you're not getting anywhere near that. So let's open up this box, and hopefully, I remember while I'm talking that speed this up. We'll just open them all, all eight up because I don't have a crappy Walmart pack thing. To add in. Maybe on the last box, I'll add in one of my packs of baseball cards because baseball card packs kind of got expensive. I haven't checked lately, but let's see. And I'll, as always, hopefully we recognize Pokemon. And right off the bat, Rhinehorn, we know him. Gino, Chinchu, Krogunk, Galarian Meowth. Hopefully the lighting's okay. Wow, we got the reverse. Okay. That is a Lapras V, right? That's not a V Max. I'm pretty sure that's good. That's awesome. Lapras, I like a lot. I also I think I did 130 Lapras when Sierra and Pokemon Go had, was able to get the shiny. That's a really cool artwork on the Kingler. <laughs> shiny Lapras, sh shiny Shadow Lapras from Sierra and Team. Pokemon Go when I was in the rocket battle things. 
I did probably around like 130 and I got two shiny Lapras, shadow Lapras, which is really cool. And then now we- All right, so that was awesome. Naturally, get a cool card. Memory card's full. Lapras V, I think it's just called, which is really cool. We like Lapras, that's a cool Pokemon. So that's awesome. So first pack, did we also get the Snorlax on the first pack of the last box? So that's kind of cool. Apparently, first pack luck is a thing. Choodle, I know that from Sword and Shield playing through. But also, how much time do we have? 27 minutes for this recording, so hopefully we don't get anywhere near that. But Choodle, Blip Bug, another Rhyhorn, but the other alt art for it. Club, that thing, Goldeen, Verse Hollow, Rodon Bike. There's a cool card, it's gonna be here. Whimsicott, uh, I don't think we pulled the. Uh, Reverse for the last one. Double. We do not like that Pokemon. Okay, let's see. So I think last time it was we got the Snorlax V Max in the first pack, and then it was like around one of the last packs that we got the Secret Rare Quick Ball. Which hopefully we get that Ordinary Rod, I think it was. Vulpix, we know. Nick it. Ball Toy. I think we got something in this pack. Chinchu. Yeah, I, was thinking, I love that Krabby. Like I keep saying, the artwork on these cards are awesome. For just like the regular cards. Salazzle, Reverse, and... I was lying, it was just... This is just like the hollow on that. Okay. Whack. Whack back. Because that's the rare, right? Yeah. Dang it, the reverse, the reverse hollow bait. I thought we could see something cool. But, yeah, is anyone... Anyone else watching this collect Pokemon cards or do any other Pokemon Pokemon cards? What are, what are you been collecting? Sobble, baseball, f football, anything like that? You know, like, I kind of feel like I do everything on this channel. So, like I said, I haven't seen baseball cards since 2020 Gypsy Queen, which is around March or whenever I did that. So, quick ball, reverse, and glaring rapid. Quacky, Pokemon Catcher, Drizzle. Oh, we almost got the evolution. Now oh, we just need a Polyon, right? So if you want to see the difference between what the like secret rare and the regular, I mean it's a reverse holo, but the regular card would look like that. But same card, just different artwork. And this one's twenty-three dollars. <laughs> but the reason this pack feels thicker than the others. I mean, I don't know. It feels weird. But yeah, what what uh what do you collect? Pokemon? I'm guessing if there are like fifteen people that even watch this video, that probably even make it to this part. I'm guessing you probably have Pokemon collection. Ruki, Mudbra, Hoot Hoot, Ten Ten Churn, Ten Chen, Burrow Seed. I think this can be shiny pretty soon. Pokemon Go. There's a cool card. It's gonna be here. Dreadnought. Nope. Or candy. Three more packs. If it's only the Lapras, I think that's okay. Value wise, I have no idea, but cool wise, I'm okay. Probably could get it for cheaper than a Holy Trainer box, but you know. Skeropi, that's an awesome artwork. The Diglets in the back just chilling. Yeah, I really like the Sword and Shield artworks. Woo woo. Pseudo Voodoo. If it's a cool card, it's gonna be a cool card. Oh, hollow. Rollaboom? Rollaboom? I think that's the last. Yeah. Last of the. Evolution line. And that card in the back again. Two packs. Anything cool happening? Pokemon packs are way different than like Top Space Ball card packs. Cottony, Chewbacca, Rhyhorn, Rookity. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think I've ever, wait, no, we got that before, I think, but I still don't know the name. Does not Ordinary Rod, we want the reverse all of that. Last pack! Come on. Really cool. Like I said, regardless, I really like that Lapras card, that's pretty cool. 
I still I'm thinking about getting a vivid voltage. I think that's the next set. Uh, booster box because I've never I'm pretty confident I've never opened up a booster box even of old Pokemon cards or last pack if there's a cool card it's gonna be a cool card last chance wow I think we got that in the other box also the Kingler card like that so I don't know might try and get booster box those are all the rares booster box of vivid voltage maybe I don't know we shall see bunch of reverse well there's the one hollow all rare and the only cool card i guess which is pretty cool card I, I really like this card this is a nice looking pokemon card lapras v we have one more elite trainer box of sword and shield so let's see what we're gonna get whenever i open it maybe i'll do it in halloween which is later today but sometime i don't know when all right so we got ourselves the third Elite Trainer Box for the Sword and Shield. Let's uh, open this up. Will it be as good as the first box? Which is pretty good. We had a, for all, well, from the two boxes, the first box is definitely the best one. The second box, I actually looked up that Lapras card and it's like $4. So, you know, but like I was saying, I didn't care how much it was worth. I thought it was a cool card. I mean, it still do, but Let's see, can we have a crazy good box like the first one? And then, of course, this is all the usual stuff, I guess. Off the screen, the LCD screen, to the back of my camera, so I can't really tell if uh, everything's in focus, which hopefully it is. But, as we said, as long as we can recognize a Pokemon, Chinchu from Pokemon Go, of course, Lizapede, Zigzagoon, that weird Mana? Is that how you say that? I don't know. I don't even really remember that in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Snom. Krogunk, Reverse. There's going to be a cool card. I'll be here. A Rangaroo, Hollow. That's kind, of, kind of different getting a Hollow. Drizzle. Is that how you say that? Yeah, that's from the Sobble. The Sharp. Wow, we didn't actually... I mean, if I didn't play Pokemon Go, I wouldn't know any of these Pokemon. And then if I didn't play it, so we, so from prior Pokemon knowledge, like I said, I'm, I'm an old, I'm an older, the 151 kind of guy. We would have lost. Uh, okay, but then we win in this pack with the shelter. Have I seen the shelter yet? Yo, like I was saying, hopefully this isn't focus. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. The like the artwork on a lot of almost all of these sword and shield cards are awesome are they all different artists yeah that's cool i'm gonna have to like look up some of these artists like that mall wow looks amazing that, that kind of looks like i don't know what kind of artwork that looks like it, it looks like a different art style i guess but it still looks awesome like i said i'm just not a fan of like that one that's like the yarn this Krabby I'm in love with, so that's cool. We got the reverse hollow for it. Drapion rare. Wait. Oh, that was Krabby from the last one. But, like, that Hitmonchan, that's awesome artwork. The noon, like, those are all cool. I like those. I don't, would that be, like, hand-drawn or? I'm not sure on that artwork style, but. Like, I don't like the clay, the clay one or whatever and the. The yarn, really, you know, this is not for me. But like all these artworks, I'm a, another model. Wow, I'm in love with Gossifler, and also I didn't realize it's a 202 card set. <laughs> so yeah, can we please not get any more doubles? Because we're not even like anywhere close to finishing the card set. Energy switch reverse. We might have actually got something cool. I could kind of see because I don't think that's part of this. Whew. Yeah, oh, it's Team Yell Grunt, but it's a full art trainer, though. Like I said, I hate Team Yell, but that's an awesome card, though. Yo! That's awesome. Okay, put that there, energy. Lucky Egg. We need some of those in Pokemon Go. Actually, we don't, because that's an awesome drug, drug Trio card. What? Oh, let's put that there. There's, like, a Diglett in the back. All these Doug Trio. Why are the, all those Doug Trio like terrified of this Doug Trio? What's going on here? 
Also, I'm worried about, what is this, an uncommon? Uncommon Doug Trio art when we got this Team Yell full art in the background. But yeah, that's sweet. We got ourselves a, uh, right, that's, that's what that's called. That's the full art, I believe. Back in my day, we just had holographics. But that's pretty cool, even though I, I wasn't a fan of them. Give me, give me, give, where's my Team Rocket, you know? But that's cool. That's a cool card. I like it. Is there anything else in this box? Also, I haven't opened up any baseball cards. I gotta find it after this, maybe. We'll try and find. Because I, I do have several... Oh, I love that Ghastly. Ghastly is one of my favorite Pokemon. I think, like, Ghastly and Dragonair are probably my two favorites. Uh, Amper, I like that. We used him a bunch. And, uh, Sword and Shield. Dreadnought. Toddler? We cannot... I think I edited it out in the video, but it was literally... I think, so there's like, a weird cut in, like, the last box. I think it was me spending, like, five minutes trying to pronounce this, uh... I can't do... I still can't do it. I, I gotta, like, look... Can you, like, Google that into the... Where it gives you how to pronounce, like, words kind of thing? Because... The course of iron or something like that? Or is that a completely different Pokemon? I don't know. That, that, I can't figure... My brain cannot comprehend that. Whatever that Pokemon is. Salandit. Clobopus? Wait. I gotta keep lifting the microphone to turn on. Okay, hopefully this is in focus and not completely glared out from the lighting. <laughs> Ghastly, we like you. Rookity. Slizzle. Okay, we're getting like a lot. Yo, that's a sweet Lapras card, bro. See, like the artwork looks so good. Is it and even... Can you see it? That is awesome artwork on that Lapras. I love that card. Grandpa? Big Sean? Seeking? Wacky. Yo, that's a cool card. I think that's the first time we've seen that Lapras. Do I, now do I fin try and finish this set? Maybe not go for like the full arts and secret rares because th that's where it starts getting expensive. I did look up the ordinary rod and I think it's like $10. So maybe we'll just grab that because I mean, unless it's in this one of these last, this right here or in the last two packs, that'd be cool. It's not, that, that'd be kind of cool if we got it. Then we don't have to spend $10 on it. Well, let's see, two packs. But do I try and finish this set? I don't know now. It's like we got <laughs> three Elite Trainer boxes, plus I'm pretty sure we... Okay, let's go all this back. Seriously? Um, plus uh, several other packs from that, la that last Marlins video where I was trying to give them good luck that did not work out. So we got, we got some... Did this be like base sword and shield, basically? Versnom, Drapion, Salazzle, that's a, that's a cool card. I love the artwork. I mean, I've said that like 1,000 times probably. Last pack. Something, something cool, come on. Come on. Let's finish this off. I think we did get something cool. No way, can you see it? I think that's gold. Okay, let's see. I don't know, you can kinda see it. I'm pretty sure that's gold. Come on, Ordinary Rod. I don't even know if there's a more expensive seeker. I'm pretty sure that's a seeker rare. Volpix? That idiot poke? That's what I was talking about, the like yarn. I'm not like too bad. Look at that Roselia though. Reverse Hollow Cottony. Okay, let's, it's totally gold. So it's a secret rare, like trainer, right? Energy, okay, who cares about that stuff? But let's see, if this is Ordinary Rod, this is rigged, because it's like, I think the only card I want from this set. Who? No, dude, it's rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. It's not rigged, but I mean, wow, okay. Like I said, it's like, I'm pretty sure it's a whole $10, maybe $9, but we wanted it and we got it. That doesn't have that. That never happens <laughs> when, uh, when you're, I mean, I, I mean, I haven't opened up Pokemon packs all that much since, much since I was like 10 or 11 years old, but from all the baseball card packs I've opened up, 
When you want a card, you do not get that card. We got the card. Dude, that's awesome. Let's go. Like I said, now I can put that with my... Uh... Now that was a box. We got a secret rare. We got the full... That's just like a full art trainer. I think that's what that's called, right? Yo, that was a solid box. So we got two of the three boxes. I think we won. I think we won, you know? Or at least to me, we won. Yo, that's awesome. Like, literally that whole time, like, yeah, we got to get the secret rod. Because Jupiter Sailfish, like I said before, and I, I like fishing, and that's clearly a fishing rod. So that is really cool. And to go along with, I don't know what, if I'm even going to put that in the video, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be, a, like, over 30-minute video, and I'm slightly edited on the first two boxes. I think it's, like, around, like, 28 minutes or something. So this is probably a long video, but I'm talking and I'm enjoying the cards. You know, I'm not like a card breaker. I'm, I'm just enjoying cards here. We're having cards time. I think I'm just going to put it probably after this where I showed off, like I was talking about this this card. I don't, I don't know if I talked about that. That's a pretty solid box. Then we got that cool, I like that Lapras card. That reverse all the Lapras, that was cool. Yo, I'm happy. But yeah, this is cool. I like that. I really like that card. And this team, like I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the team yell, but you know, we'll take it. That's cool. But let me get those other cards real quick. This video is going to take long anyway, because I just like talking, hopefully you like watching. But not, I didn't find the fisherman cards yet, but in my Pokemon box, we found a couple months ago, I think. I'm going to I'm gonna make, a, once I find all my old Pokemon cards, like my base, jungle, and fossil sets, because I have a ton of them. I do not have first edition Charizard, I keep saying that. I do have a Shallowless one, and it better be safe and amazing condition from uh, in my storage from when we moved. Yeah, I'm slowly finding some of my Pokemon stuff. I'm gonna make a video going through of all my Pokemon stuff because that's that's my childhood that I love Pokemon cards and everything and all Pokemon everything. And we have a lot of it. So uh, yeah, but you know, I found my Game Boy box. It's kind of beat up and everything, but you know, that's, uh, I used it. <laughs> I think I feel like I've shown this stuff before, some of it. So I have like my old Game Boy games. We got the yellow, which that was cool. The red, the blue. I remember I found this like, I can't remember when, definitely a couple years ago. I posted it on like some Pokemon forum, and a bunch of people were like pissed off at me that I have my name written on, which my name is PJ, by the way. And I'm like, Dude, I was 10 years old. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, you're like, how could you have your name written on it? You know how those things are bad? It's like, yo, that's back, back when you're 10 years old, trading in school with the one kid that had the link cable for the Game Boys, you had to know what cartridge was yours. Or like, you gave it to, you gave the cartridge, your cartridge to your friend, to take home to his friend who has the link cable, kind. you know? That's why... I still have them because, you know, I, I mean, I don't care. Like, plus, I'm not selling those. Those are like my Game Boy games from, you know, I, that's what I don't. I mean, I think some people are saying I could take like alcohol with like a Q-tip and kind of rub off the permanent marker. But, yeah, I found some of the PSAs. I think the one card I was talking about, because like I always said, Ghastly is like my favorite Pokemon. And, like I keep saying, I'm all about them low grades. Uh, it's like, I think this is the only legendary collection card, but I always thought these reverse foil from the legendary collection cards you could probably barely see the card because it's so shiny i always thought this card looks or the reverse foil looks cool you know compared to like nowadays kind of like look at i mean the reverse hollows aren't that oh there you can kind of see them they're not that but they're like not that good kind of you know and i think i did this one in a video this was my card that i sent in and it got a nine which i couldn't believe because i found it in a ziploc bag of some of my old pokemon stuff and i was like you know what? It looks really good shape. I don't know what gave it the nine. I think it's like a little off center. I feel like on the back you can kind of see maybe, or it looks like it's more to the left than the right. I think that might have did it. But I mean, there is zero scratches on the hollow. I think there might have been a white spot maybe. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's a insanely clean nine. <laughs> Like, I guess, I think it's just the off-center, maybe. But it's, like, so, you know? It's not perfect, because it's not a 10, you know? But it's it's a really good 9. So, then this one, I looked it up the other day. Actually, I was seeing it. The PSA 7. First edition Charmander. I bought this 
2018 like and seven dollars you know no one wanted it it's a psa 7 i think i saw it's really weird i think when i looked it up lately once one sold for 85 dollars and then another for 225 dollars both psa 7s i don't know what the hell happened there but you know it's more it's worth more than seven dollars now come on dialga i got that because uh when pokemon go it came out as a boss i was like yo Dark Hypno, I thought this card looked really cool. So we got that. You can, see, you can see what I'm telling you, the lower grades. We got sevens and eights. We don't have eight yet coming up. Or I think, been, yeah, come on. You know, but seven, I'm all about them. The nines, sevens, and eights. You don't have to go for tens. Like, or even nines. Like, I'm perfectly content with the seven and eights. Because as long as it's not insanely scratched, the front looks fine. No one's no one's picking up a Pokemon card and being like, yo, this card looks great. And looking at the back, they wanted to see the front. I thought that was a cool Hypno card. I don't know. Fire red, leaf green kind of thing. That one's off center. You kind of you tell that one. I don't know. It's got some weight on the back. You know? <laughs> this one was funny because I, I, I liked Wobba Fett from the TV show. And uh, if you're buying on eBay... Make sure the listing says hollow and not those idiots that put, well, I guess for Pokemon, it kind of makes sense. That puts non-hollow, I guess my idiot self thought that just saw hollow and kind of bought it. So we have a PSA 9 Wobbuffet, non-hollow. And then I was like, wait a minute. Then I had to go and buy the hollow that we wanted the first time. So, you know, whatever. Maybe, maybe now with Pokemon, I should probably look that up. I make money on that anyway didn't spend much at all on that the Ven uh, Ven uh, yeah the venusaur i thought that looked really cool i don't know if there is where is it i don't know if in english there is a comparable because i think I, I don't know is there a charizard with this art in english like this uh venusaur because i think these are like basically the game boy like when you start up the game boy game these are like the poses, I guess, of the Pokemon. I know this one's the, what is it? It's like, it's from the CD or something. I don't know. Was it like Pokemon music or something? But this card, the Charizard was in it. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what the Venusaur promo was from, but I thought that looked really cool. I don't, I don't think, I think there's a Blastoise, but I don't think it's as good. So I don't think I got it. Like pose wise kind of thing. And then probably I think the most expensive card out of all of these, I think this one's like 30 or $40. This uh, Pikachu which I thought it was awesome. I love the artwork on it. I think I watched the Pikachu for like a year, I, but I'm saying like, I think I probably got this like 2018 or something. And I should have got it. Like, oh, don't wait on cards. There's some you should wait, but more than likely not you wait and then it, everything just goes up in price. Just be smart about it, you know? But yeah, anyway, uh, I just love the artwork on this one and I should have bought it way sooner than I did. Probably paid like $20 more. I think I was seeing a couple of them for 20 when I initially started looking. But, you know, I like it. I'm happy. I love this uh, Pikachu birthday. Because you're like supposed to write in your name up there and give it to or whoever's birthday kind of thing. I do have, there's one, there's a Chansey. I think it's a Japanese card. I do have one. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like an $8 card or something like that but i have it from like originally because i'm pretty sure my uncle gave it to me yo we're getting like way sidetracked this stuff has nothing to do with sword and shield but i like pokemon and i play pokemon go every day okay we're fisherman cards <laughs> that's so funny i found out okay i got it i still haven't found the fisherman cards where the hell are the fish i'm fighting everything but the fisherman oh, i found them okay i swear i had more than this because i know there's several fisherman cards Cause like there's this guy fishing, which I thought was cool. Maybe there isn't that many. I thought I thought I had several. Maybe I was just confusing my mind that. And this one, it's like the reverse hollow fisherman thing. There's probably more. I don't know. Probably shouldn't add in the rod. I definitely want that full art or secret rare uh, ordinary rod one. That would be cool. And there we found one of those. Red Cheeks Pikachu, Shadow, good thing. I, I I think I found like a good seven or eight of these when I was going through 
some of the shallowest cards I found. And I was I sold like two of them for like ten dollars. I'm pretty sure they're like worth like thirty or forty now. They like decent shape. So I'm glad I canceled those listings. That's like a recent one that that ash or red one. I forget what that that's like for the movie promo or whatever. Keep saying I like ghastly. We got this hollow legends maker. I I think that's a reverse hollow actually. I was actually just looking at this card. So I'm really glad I saw this because that would be a kind of a bummer to buy it twice. This one I always thought I I remember I think I remember hearing about this one a lot back in I feel like I, it's that uh it's supposed to be naked misty or whatever. But I thought this was like a funny card. Then we got of course everyone's got to have the Mew promo. And these I remember finding that I was like I could I could remember they're like kind of special but they're like jungle meowth. You can see they have like a gold border. And I think if I remember from looking it up, there these came in like fruit roll-ups boxes back in the day. So I thought those were kind of fun. And this is like stuff I've just been finding, not the other ones. And I, I forget what I was watching, uh, but they were talking about like error cards kind of. And I went through a bunch of the old cards I found because like my uncle was in Japan and back in back in the day, he used to send me Pokemon cards. So I have a bunch of Pokemon cards. So like. This one, it's like kind of a weird one that it's Grimer. And the it's not an error. It's just reprinted or something. It was reprinted in English, I think, to change it. That everyone was like, oh, Grimer. I don't know if you can see it. Definitely not because it's not focused. You can kind of see like his eyeballs. Everyone's like, oh, he's looking up. the person walking by a skirt. We found like three of those. And then I went through some. And this one's like kind of, is all the same? Yeah, it's like. Base set Diglett, that it's the fighting energy. As awesome as this camera is, it sucks at focusing up close. Plus, it's really, really hard to see. Anyway, the fighting energy here is, what is, it, is it sideways? Yeah, it's sideways instead of straight up. You, you, hopefully, you can tell on these. But, like, the fist is supposed to be, like, pointing, like, up. But it's sideways on the Diglett. We found three of those. Those are kind of funny. And this one I actually want to look up the price for because I love this card. I think this is the... F I have two of them. Uh, I saw this. I don't, I'm not sure what the actual name of it's called. I don't know what set it's from either. And it says 2009. But it's the Charizard. Also that E is on the plastic. <laughs> uh, it's Charizard. But I think they're calling it Cracked Ice, which in baseball and football cards and stuff they call that cracked ice that like hollow pattern kind of thing and i should have like returned it i mean i think i paid like eight or nine dollars for it no 13 i think it was if i remember correctly but in the picture it was like fine when i got it and it's like on the card hopefully you can this will come out you see like the black dots and stuff it's like dirty and like that's on the card I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, that wasn't in the picture kind of thing, you know? Everything was like new, and I was like, you know what, whatever. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm, I want to look at this card up now. But I think even at the time, a decent shape one was like 60 or 70 or like $100 maybe or something like that. And I was like, I love the cracked ice look of it, but I don't, 60 70 $80 love one. <laughs> but I'll take the $13 one, That's what I get. that's what I get. But I'm pretty sure other than like this, whatever is like sprayed onto it is fine. And then I think I got pissed off and I tried to go for like a better conditioned one, which looks fine on the front, which I keep saying I'm all about that. But on the back, it's a little bit beat up. And I think I see some like whitening here and here. So I have two, but this one looks way better on the front. I think I might've paid more for I think this might've been like 20 or something. I'm curious to see what these are worth now, because that's what I need. I want to go back through and see all the stuff I've bought, Pokemon wise, to see what the heck it's worth now, as of like the past few months of how crazy Pokemon's been going, kind of thing. That was like an extra 15 minutes of me trying to show two fisherman cards that I like showing. I like showing my. I like talking about Pokemon, yo. And like I said, I'm gonna be finding all my old Pokemon stuff, and I'm going to be making a cool Pokemon video. I guess, like, showing it off or whatever, but I like showing off all my old Pokemon stuff because I feel like my Pokemon collection, I guess it would be, would be kind of somewhat more unique than, I guess, if that's the right word, or at least different, maybe, than, like, other people's because it's from back in the day. Like, it, I collected. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of my cards are in 
decent condition because I never, I always put my stuff in binders, you know, I, the hollow cards, I'm pretty sure I used to sleeve and stuff. So I'm pretty sure my stuff is in like pretty good shape because, you know, like no one was going back around back then being like, yo, don't open the packs. Don't put them in sleeves instantly. Don't breathe on them. Don't look at them. Don't even look at the cards. You know, it was just like you're at school or after just hanging out and you're like, yo, my parents just bought me some cards. Let's open some packs kind of thing. You know, it wasn't like nowadays, which that's like something I'm like curious about because even like what the past like 10 years or whatever, Pokemon, like sports cards, even stuff like that. Like how conditioned with like what? I mean, Pokemon, it's been like 20 years. It's been out, but like say like 20 years from now or 50 years or whatever card values would be because almost every card nowadays someone opens it up and it's in a sleeve like you know like it doesn't even have, it doesn't even touch the air anymore that like qual i guess qu condition quality kind of thing you know plays into like years down the road kind of thing because like you know like now it's like like the valuable pokemon cards are hard to find because i mean they're it, it, the cards were for kids <laughs> and like kids are playing with the card you know like that's what, even like baseball football you know old old cards and stuff you know no one's no one was thinking to protect them now like all the cards that are coming out that would are valuable you know what they would be like in like however many years so